Hello everyone. A few decades ago, robotics created a buzz in medical and clinical research field. And today we see the applications from laser assisted surgeries to spinal cord restructuring. These days, a similar breakthrough technology in the form of artificial intelligence has taken the world by storm and its latest application is ChatGPT. But can this artificial intelligence solve clinical research related problem and have breakthrough application? Let's find out. Okay, so before we begin this video, I would request all of you to subscribe to this channel and make sure that you press the bell icon so that it provides me motivation to bring you quality content such as this. So let's start with this video. So first it is very important to understand the distinction between artificial intelligence and machine learning because a lot of people get confused when it comes to AI and ML. Okay, so let's understand the distinction first. So when it comes to arti artificial intelligence, so it is it has four critical attributes. The first one is the artificial intelligence are essentially a computer which acts on their own. Okay. And these uh, particular systems or computers act according to the environment, giving them adaptability as well as these particular systems have the cognitive ability to process information. And these are highly efficient and advanced computers which can make decision. Okay. So there no programming is involved, but they think on the material have cognitive ability and make decision based on that. Okay. The best example is chat GPT. Chat GPT can extract all the information, put context to it and then give you the desired answers or solution. Okay. So that is artificial intelligence. When it comes to machine learning, it is very different from the AI. It is machine learning is one of the application of AI. Okay. A subset of AI. And in machine learning, these computers essentially are used to observe and analyze data patterns. Okay. What they do is they can predict the previous data patterns, which you put in that particular data stream. And these are pre-programmed algorithm. So these particular machine learning systems requires programming. You have to tell them what to do with the data and they will give you a data pattern. Okay. So this is a critical difference between artificial intelligence and machine learning. Okay. Now moving ahead. So before artificial intelligence can solve our problem, we must understand what are the current challenges in clinical trial. Let's understand those one by one and then we can move ahead and look at the applications of AI in clinical trial. Okay. So first understanding the challenges in clinical trial. First and foremost is the fragmented data and the disconnected systems. So a lot of data in clinical trials is fragmented and do not appear homogenized. Okay. As well as whatever the systems we use in clinical trial, it, it is fragmented uh, one system from the another. And if you want to look in a connected pattern, that is not possible. IWRS system will give you one kind of data. EDC will give you one kind of data. Safety systems will give you one kind of data. Okay. So it is a kind of disconnected system. Second thing is there is a lot of manual effort still today with the advent of digital technology. It is ideally expected that these cutting edge technology be used and to efficient use. But as you can see that even today creating all the logs, applying uh, all the protocols, some part of the clinical trial, which is a major manual part that can be digitalized or automated. Okay. But still a lot of manual effort is required in today's time. And these particular systems or manual effort are a type of rework and repetition. Okay. So for each and every trial, if there are some aspects that are same, okay, or similar, then with minor changes, it should be automated so that we do not require that much uh, that much of manual effort. But again, we have to repeat all the systems again for the different trial. Again, we have to do the rework. Okay. And this essentially adds to the cost of clinical trial, which translates to addition of the cost of the medication itself. Okay. Or the treatment of the therapy. Next thing is when it comes to patient recruitment and enrollment. Now, this is a major area. Okay. During the polls also a lot of people voted that patient retention and recruitment is a big area because when it comes to recruitment, a lot of sponsors 
choose a particular set of hospitals and which down the line gives you homogenized data. But when it comes to clinical trial, a lot of diversity is expected because this particular treatment or medication is going to be used by a diverse population, which is not ideal for clinical trial. Okay. Next thing is when it comes to enrollment, again the sponsor repeatedly go to the same hospital to the uh, same database. Okay, this does not lead to diversification, and this is a major challenge in clinical trial. Even in India's context, we have a lot of clinical trials uh, which are focused on the central and the western part of India, and to some extent of the southern part of India. But the entire northeast region is highly disregarded. Okay, there you do not see diversity okay so that is another major uh, challenge in clinical trial next thing is patient monitoring and retention okay when it comes to clinical trial you can see that recruitment is not a problem if you have the patient pool but monitoring the subject asking them to come for all the planned visit is a big challenge and retaining them is another major challenge if you see if you recruit around around tentatively 100 subjects from my experience when it comes to the last subject last visit you can see hardly 30 to 40 subjects which is a loss of 60 subjects and due to xyz reason that the subject might not come uh, to clinical trial but retention still is a critical bone of contention when it comes to challenges in clinical trial okay and why does retention gets affected that still has to be analyzed as i have spoken about clinical trial diversity again which part of your country requires how much percentage of the population okay the representation is critical a lot of clinical trial get approval for recruiting subject but they are not able to recruit from diverse parts of the country okay so these six are one of the major challenges in clinical trial okay now what we have to do is we have to look that how these cutting edge technologies such as artificial intelligence would be applied in clinical trial the first application i can see is connected technology okay so we can use digital health technology in its application in clinical trial and when it comes to patient data collection and compliance we can do real-time tracking as well as get insights from the system this artificial intelligence system can process that data in real time and provide us data and warnings which can help us understand that this particular patient is deviating from this clinical trial okay what are the patterns that it is being observed in real time as well as it can play a critical role in patient safety also next part is recruitment of the diverse population okay so technologies such as deep learning machine learning and this ai based technology can help in diversifying the algorithm which can help in identification and inclusion of a lot of diverse subject in clinical trial and we can optimize the diversity that is ideally required in clinical trial for example whenever you give large data data sets to the machine learning systems okay which is a part of the ai it can help you identify what are the recruiting pattern in the past and we can ask the ai that what particular steps or efforts we can take and again what ai does is it calculates it simulates okay it can give you interesting insights which you might not have thought initially okay and these powerful technology can used can be used in diverse population recruitment which is one of the major challenges in recruitment of the clinical trial subjects next thing is as i've said recruiting is one of the thing retention is a bigger problem so the artificial intelligence algorithm can help us in drawing patterns okay which can help in understanding the behavior of the subjects and providing critical insight okay which can enhance patient retention for example if a particular subject is facing a challenge uh, for example related to adverse event okay so we can see that a lot of adverse events are happening to the subject now if you are a clinical research professional you would agree with me that not a lot of time adverse events are reported but if these events are reported these events are tracked by the connected technology by artificial intelligence in real time we can understand that this particular medication is causing adverse event if those are managed 
then a large part of the clinical research population can be retained in the trial okay and it can lead to conclusion of the trial and getting the drug approved okay so ai can help in retention also and can play a major part next thing is when it comes to understanding data okay the research data for a lot of disease then this particular ai system can help in reading a lot of reports okay for example the mri report thousands of reports you can give it to the artificial intelligence system and it can help in drawing patterns okay it can help in predicting diagnosis okay in the field of drug development also a lot of data inputs are given okay and these major system having raw computing power can help in reducing the target of the therapeutic area molecules and save a lot of time and money okay when i say saving a lot of time money and technology i am implying that these particular savings are not essentially for the company okay these savings directly translate to the cost of medication that is going to be taken from the subject okay i am talking about the common subject or the patient if i find these technologies useful and they reduce my cost it essentially makes medication cheaper and affordable which is a major challenge in today's world okay as you can see that are not not a lot of people are able to afford this medication so if ai can help in reducing time and resources then we can efficiently use the cost to provide better treatment next thing is key insight as i've said that researchers are manually day in and day out tiring to investigate and get insight from the past clinical trials from the past data and to find out patterns through it but instead of wasting that much effort if we can give this large data sets to artificial intelligence then it can analyze the enormous amount of data and can even predict what kind of patterns are to be expected in the future and we can also tweak the clinical trial design or get critical insights from the clinical trial design perspective okay which can lead to efficiency and obviously cost reductions okay so key insights is also one of the major application of the clinical uh, trials when it comes to artificial intelligence okay last but not the least as i've said that reduced time is reduced cost okay so using uh, artificial intelligence these companies can get the clinical trial data cheaper and in a short amount of time while maintaining the high throughput and the quality okay this essentially improves efficiency efficiency improves the required for rework manual work and this leads to reduction in cost and better treatment options so in my opinion whatever research i have done i have listed all the links uh, below in the description box you can go and check out the research papers and the articles so ai can really help in providing critical insights in patient retention recruiting diverse population in real time analysis of the connected technology that we are using okay and it can have a very significant impact in the future and of course when it comes to clinical research training clinical aim research can help you with clinical research training and they provide excellent advanced certification in clinical research so go ahead and check them out okay they provide quality education at a very minimal cost finally thank you for watching this video and kindly share it with all the students and colleagues of yours so that we can have a spirited debate over the application of these technologies and do subscribe to my channel thank you